In March 2009, now a little bit over three years ago, my husband Arnold and I became the proud parents of our firstborn, our son Anthony. But that same month also marked the conception of another baby, and this one created by me and two guys, my co-founders Raimo and Martin. All three of us were fascinated by a technology called augmented reality. And all, we all three saw it as a next step in mobile. Just point your phone at something and it will reveal information about it. In March 2009, the ID of an augmented reality browser was born. And literally on the back of an envelope, Martin and Raimo drew the augmented reality hype cycle showing that this new technology, just like every other new technology, would go through a phase of hype, then decline before it would fully mature. And three months later, in June 2009, this week, exactly three years ago, our baby, Layer, was born. And with it, we brought augmented reality, a technology which used to be something of science fiction, only used by the military R&D labs, into a regular mobile phone. And boy, did we ride that hype cycle, including the ups, the peak, and the struggling thereafter. And we learned a lot. We learned that we had to take the usage from outside, pointing a phone at a location, this slide is animated normally, to something inside, a magazine, a flyer or product packaging. It took three years to bring the product to a level where it starts to have real value in people's everyday lives. And we recently found new success and business-wise our first destination in the world of print. With Layer, you can now make print publications interactive with digital content. Just point your phone at a page and it will come to life with videos or links to websites or any other digital content. And just like we were the first to bring augmented reality to the masses, we now bring the possibility to make print interactive at everyone's fingertips. With something we launched a few weeks ago, and it's called Layer Creator. And I'm now going to show you how this works. And it's going to be a live demo, so it's always tricky. Can you switch to this screen, please? So here, you've all received this program booklet and it already has been made interactive by the TEDx organizing committee, uh, especially the profile pages. And now I would like to add something to my own profile page. Here you see the layer creator screen. On the left side you see all the pages that have been uploaded, and in the middle you see I have my profile page. And I now I would like to add a button linking to the TEDx discussion. I click, and I'm gonna Copy paste the link right over here, entering it here, apply changes. I'm going to move this over a little bit, make it slightly smaller, right here, a nice place. And I'm going to save, I'm trying to scroll down. Here we go, save the page. Yes, please edit. And I'm now going to, this is Interesting whether we're going to get it on a mobile phone. Right there, I have to mirror. This is always scary, right? <laughs> Let me try to put it on again. There we go. I'm opening, so I'm now streaming live from this mobile phone. I'm opening the layer application. Well, let's show something strange. <laughs> so, I have a live stream. So, I can see you over there. Please wave. <laughs> Hello. And I'm now pointing my phone with layer at my page in the program booklet. Right there. I tap to view. It starts a recognition. So, hoping the Wi-Fi is keeping up. And there you go. You see the button that I just added right there. And on the right side... Phew, that worked. <laughs> Can you turn me back to my presentation, please? So very many publishers, big and small, all across the globe, have started to use Layer Creator and fully integrated it into their print processes. It is said that we bring new life to the print industry. 
And now that every glossy magazine can become a point of sale because you can directly buy stuff from the page. So our product is an important step closer to maturity, and so is the market. But with entering this new phase, I also felt a very strong urge to look forward. Where do I want to take these products, the, the products I created, other than only helping people to consume more because you can buy stuff directly? And that brings me back to my kids. Uh, my son is now a little bit over three years, and today, exactly one year ago, our daughter Luana was born. Heep the peep, hoo <laughs> Here they are in the park, learning about the swan with its babies and about duckweed. They grow up finding it completely normal that everything is digital. And just think about the fact that only 15 years ago, we started to have internet and mobile phones in our lives. 15 years from now, when my kids are exploring the woods together, they will find a silly bird and just point their phone at it and see in, in, new information about it or find stuff that they find interesting. And I'm saying mobile phone, but in 15 years, it will probably be integrated into their glasses or even contact lenses. That's an interesting way to learn, right? But I'm now taking you to the reality of learning today, which is at school. Kids need to sit still and listen to a teacher six hours a day or read long texts in a school book. So what is keeping me busy lately? Is can interactive print, where our technology is already today, help to improve the way kids learn? What if we could bring school books to life or the walls of the classroom? If you could see a video of a historical battlefield would that not make you remember it better than having to remember the date when in history it took place? A week ago, I started this discussion group about this subject on LinkedIn. He saw the link in my profile. And somebody already made a very interesting remark. She said, schools may not always have the resources to provide for iPads or laptops, but every kid has their own mobile phone. And this technology works on already 80% of all smartphones, and it doesn't require to change much in the school books. So already today, it could have a very positive impact. So here's an invitation to you. Please join me in understanding how interactive print can not only bring magazines to life, but can also have a very positive impact on our education system. You can find a LinkedIn discussion group, as well as my contact details. You point your phone at my profile page in the program booklet, or view this image with layer, of course. And it would help me get one step closer to realizing my dream, to making our education system better, not only for my own kids, but for all next generations. Thank you very much. <laughs>